Welcome to the Robert West Podcast on this glorious Friday morning. Why am I in such a good mood? Well, we have contacted 250 county chairs across Texas. Yep, there's 254 counties. 250 of them have GOP organizations. And we have contacted all 250, so they all know about the Corn and Censure. Well, last night we got invited to Cass County to their CEC meeting. We have got to watch them all swear in. We met some new ones that have just been appointed. And uh, there are people there that came up to us and said they were there because of us, which is awesome. You know, there's just regular citizens getting involved and making a difference. So uh, we watched them pass this censure unanimously. We were thrilled to death. And by the time we got home, we had uh, a, an email saying Raines County had done the same. Now, I've got an email out. I'm going to confirm this before we update the website. But if that's true, that's three down. And another 20 or 30 counties have contacted us and said it's in the works, it's going to happen, but we don't check, count our chickens before they're hatched. Uh, one thing's going on with this censure. There are groups out there that call themselves grassroots groups that are not supporting the censure. In fact, they're fighting against it. If that's the case, well, they've ceased to be grassroots and they've become elites. So you need to find a different group or start a different group. Because, quite frankly, anybody that would fight against this is standing on the side of John Cornyn. And they're standing against your Second Amendment rights. They're standing against Supreme Court rulings that said this law should have never been voted for because it was unconstitutional on several grounds. See, I got a news for you, folks. Uh, if they can say if from 18 to 21, we could put special rules on, on guns limit your ability to buy a gun, possess a gun, then there's no difference if they want to put a special rule from 49 to 60, or maybe over 75, or maybe over 90. Once you let them take away your rights, or someone else's rights, you just encourage them to go further. Well, you know, 19 to 20, 18 to 20, 18 to 22, 18 to 100. What difference does it make? U.S. citizens that reach age of majority have certain rights. The Supreme Court's already ruled on this. So John Cornyn didn't just side with the Democrats and vote for vote against their Second Amendment rights. He ignored the recent Supreme Court ruling. And then they threw away another $16 billion. Just threw it at the states. Here, go do this unconstitutional thing. Here's $16 billion. Like we haven't spent our way into massive inflation already. So this does matter, folks. You need to do your part. You need to contact the county chairs, contact your precinct chairs. This is how it gets done and push this. So it's great news and uh, that's a good thing. The, there is a bad thing. Elected officials are going out to county organizations trying to get them to ignore the party platform, the legislative priorities in particular. Uh, elected Republicans are standing in front of the Republican Party and saying you need to ignore your legislative priority, especially when it comes to seating Democrat chairs, because we really need those. This is what I would say to any elected official that stood before me and said that. Number one, you told me to ignore 10,000 people who went down to Houston on their own dime and their own time and came up with these priorities. That is the Republican Party of Texas. You, sir, have just told me to ignore that process and those people. That's one. You stood up there and said, we need Democrat chairs. When plain as day, it's in our legislative priorities that we don't do that. So you, sir, have just violated one of our legislative priorities. That's two strikes. Keep talking. Keep talking another five minutes and let's see if we can find number three. And I don't need to give you two weeks notice to do a Rule 44 against you because you're here to defend yourself right now. Did you just say those things, or did I, did I mishear it? You could get that censure passed that night. Don't you dare vote to see if you're going to follow the elites, or you're going to follow the party. You are the party. But I'll tell you this. If enough counties ignore those legislative priorities, that I and my wife as delegates went down there and passed, you're going to play hell getting enough people down to Houston next time around or to San Antonio or wherever you hold the next convention. You know how bad off the Democrats are right now? They've torqued off so many of their own voters, they couldn't even get enough people to get a quorum 
at their state convention. So they didn't pass Jack. You want to be in that position in two years? We haven't been out of that convention 30 days and you're already being told to ignore it. Don't stand for this, folks. Don't let the elected think they run things because they are public servants. We're the public. We got two years before the primaries. And as Bob Brewer told me the other day in an email, we need to replace the sold out with the saved. So find people you trust. Find people with good hearts. Find people you would trust to watch your kids or hand your debit card to and go get $20 out of the machine for you. And let's get those people to run for office. Let's get those people running Austin. Because those people are not going to stab you in the back like the ones we have now on both sides of the aisle. This is Robert West signing off. See you again Monday. And that's what we're working on. Nothing more and nothing less. Go! Go! So I would encourage anyone who's passionate about the Second Amendment as I am and wants to get accurate information.